had to have been deja vu. It was the beginning of the third week since Jesus rose from death in the grave. Peter and seven other of the disciples have went out fishing on the Sea of Galilee. They worked all through the night and were skunked. They have nothing to show for the, all of their striving and their toiling. Suddenly, a stranger shows up on the shore, shouting at them if they have caught anything, like rubbing salt into an open wound. The mysterious stranger calls out to them to put the net onto the other side of the boat, like six or ten feet away from what's going to really make any kind of difference in their catch of fish. But it does. Or, or rather, the work of the mysterious stranger changes everything for these men. Suddenly, they have so many fish in their net, they can't haul it into the boat. They have to drag the net to the shore. At this catch, John figures out who this stranger is. He's no stranger at all, but the Lord Jesus himself. You know, he had done this to them once before when Jesus first called Peter and James and John to be fishers of men. They had toiled all night long then too and caught nothing. But at his word, they have a miraculous catch of fish. Back to our story on the shore, they find Jesus now has a meal of bread and fish waiting for them. Notice what happens next. Jesus comes to his disciples. He takes the bread, which implies that he also gives thanks for it, and he breaks it, and he gives it to his disciples on a Sunday morning. Jesus sets the pattern for our Sunday mornings. Jesus comes to us with all of our failed strivings, all of our failed toilings, all the good that we have failed to do, and all the wicked, evil sins that we have done on Sunday mornings to gift us his meal of forgiveness. It's not that Jesus doesn't or can't forgive you all the other days of the week, but he himself sets aside Sunday mornings as a special time for you to stop your striving, to stop your toiling, to just stop. Sit down with him and let him feed you. Feed you with his word. Feed you with his body and his blood all to assure you that your sins are forgiven. Alleluia. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia.